Hello everyone, this is Ian Lamont, publisher of In 30 Minutes Guides, including Microsoft Word in 30 Minutes. Today we're going to be taking a look at the Microsoft Word app for iOS on an iPhone and show you how you can share a document with somebody else. And the idea is by sharing the document they could help you edit it or collaborate with you on it. And it's quite simple, so let's get started. So this is the Word app for iOS. It's on an iPhone. It actually looks pretty similar to what you might see on an Android device. Uh, or on an iPad for that matter, except that the scale is a bit different than an iPad. And then of course if it's Android, the menu options will be slightly different than what we're going to see. But basically the uh, concepts for sharing are pretty much the same on iOS or on Android. So here's how we get started. Let's say that I have a document. It's a resume that I started. I was working on it before on my desktop computer. Then I open it up on Microsoft Word on my phone. And if you look at the other videos I've produced, you can see how, to, how that works. And I want somebody else to help me fill in some of the information, specifically one of my colleagues, Nicole. So here's the, here's the resume. It's the fourth item here, Test Resume Word App iOS. So let's open it up. So it's connecting to OneDrive to bring it into the app. It's opening it up, and here we go. So here is my resume, and basically this is made from a template that I got in Microsoft Word. And you can see I filled in the beginning of my name right there. I did this in the back of an Uber. I'm on the way to the airport, but I don't have enough time to put in the other information there. So I'd like my colleague Nicole to help me out with that because she has this information, all this information about my resume and address and phone number and stuff. She can get that quite easily uh, from her own desktop. So this is what you do. At the top right corner on the blue bar, you'll see a silhouette with a plus next to it. Tap on that. Three options here. You want invite people. Type names or email addresses. Now, if you have your Word app hooked up to your address book, it'll autofill. In this case, I don't have that right now, so I'm going to just start to type the name. I know her email address is Nicole at I. 30media.com. If I wanted to add another person, by the way, I could just hit the plus icon. I'm not going to do that right now because I only want one person to collaborate. Can edit and include a message. And one thing I like to do when I'm uh, using the phone, I don't like to use this tiny little keyboard, so instead I just hit the microphone icon in the upper left corner of the keyboard. So I'm going to tap that now. Hello, Nicole, comma. Can you help me fill out my resume details? Question mark. All of the info is in the shared folder back at the office. Period. Thanks, comma, Ian. So it got everything right there. I just dictated it. And then I'm ready to send it. Tap the send button in the upper right corner. Okay, I think it sent it out. That's basically about it. So what's going to happen is Nicole is going to get a message from me saying that there's this document that she can open up and edit, and she'll have permission to get in there to start to make edits to it. And then later on, uh, once she's done fiddling with it, she can notify me. I can take a look at it. One of the other great things about Microsoft Word these days is that you can actually simultaneously edit the same document if it's stored on OneDrive. So let's say that she opened up this document right now. I would see another cursor kind of floating around with her name attached to it, showing that she's adding information. And it's really cool. It prevents people from stepping on each other's toes. But basically, that's how you use sharing in the Microsoft Word app for iOS. It also works the same way for Android iPad, and other devices. For more information on how to get the most out of Microsoft Word, check out our book, Microsoft Word in 30 Minutes, available at in30minutes.com. Thanks so much for watching.